What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Colorist dark skinned men and colorist light skinned women go together like piss and shit. Let's get into this. So, Shawnee O'Neill has been accused of being a colorist. And she's been accused of being a colorist because now, all of a sudden, I don't know how many seasons this show has been in the ninth season. I don't know. But now, at this point, the show has standards all of a sudden. Now people can't, you know, fight, I guess. Um, I guess certain people can't fight. Um, and defend themselves because that's, you know, aggressive. That's being aggressive and being intimidating. Which is so... Really, this is like low-key some, you know, low-key like white woman fuck shit, right? Where they'll flip around and play victim. Right? Like all the women on the show. Not all of them. But I know that um, Evelyn Thotzada chick, um, she, from what I've heard, is like really a mess. Like she's just crazy and she's the one who goes around starting the fights and intimidating people and being aggressive and, you know, jumping on tables, jumping off of tables, throwing you know, glasses at people. Um, throwing water or alcohol on people, etc., right? You know, just acting like a full-blown chimpanzee monkey ass, right? <clears throat> and it's a bit weird now, right? Because now folks are like, well, when, you know, that Evelyn Lothada Lazada chick was doing all this similar behavior, if not the same, if not worse, really, where was this... Uh, you know, morality and you know code of ethics and all that good stuff, right? So now folks are like pointing the finger at Shawnee, like, hmm, we got a side eye, you Shawnee. <laughs> Partic um, particularly, uh, black, darker skinned women are pointing the finger at her, right? And you know, she was doing like Shawnee and Shaq wound up doing like a live stream together, and I think the subject wound up coming up. And then Shawnee had said, like, oh, she isn't the colorist, basically because, you know, she married and had kids with Shaq, and he is, quote-unquote, blackity black. You know, it don't get no blacker than Shaq, right? <clears throat> and I'm like, really? Like, this is your defense? Like, no, chick, that does not absolve you of colorism accusations, right? That just, that it doesn't work like that. Try again, Sean. Try again. All right. Hey, if that's the case, then slave owners can say the same damn thing. Like, you know, hey, they've had plenty of kids with black women. <laughs> I can't be, oh, I can't be a racist. I don't have plenty of kids with these blackity black nigger women. Right? Nah. Heck, the Kardashians modern day slave owners can say the same thing if that's the case yeah. yeah so no it doesn't work like that all right so you can date marry and have kids with rich or broke dark-skinned men and still be colorist against dark-skinned women and to keep it real as quiet as it's kept these light-skinned women also harbor similar sentiments if not the same sentiments toward dark-skinned black men don't get it twisted. All right. Don't get it twisted. <clears throat> you thinking that, oh, it's all good in the hood between them, those two groups of people? Not as much as you think. All right. The thing is, these women just aren't as vocal about it because dark-skinned black men are pretty much the only men that they can get. They have no other options. But trust me, they don't like these niggas as much as you think they do. All right. Claudia Jordan doing a special report for Get Entertainment. I don't usually do this, but it's for my friend Tina Davina. It's her birthday party. It's the all black everything birthday party. I didn't want really think it's a good idea with all these black people walking around because black on black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like Cecily, Jason, Janlan, kind of Tina, myself, everybody else. I only see T the nine. So whatever, it's all good. It's her idea. Planet of the Apes. So. Okay. So he wants to be auditioned. 
I'm like, no, he's 6'2", 220, black. He make a great orangutan or monkey. I'm like, no, he's 6'2", 220, black. He make a great orangutan or monkey. <laughs> Color eyes are going to end up with. They'll, they all oh. end. You should start off brown the same eyes, color. For sure. For sure. For sure. I thought, you said, I thought you said her color going to come in for a couple of weeks. But I know she's going to have The darker eyed babies they usually stay dark. Yeah. Yep. Because I had blue eyes when I was born. Sorry. I thought you were going to have pretty eyes. Bright blue eyes. She do got pretty she eyes. Bright blue. Oh, look at them. They look so cute, you guys. Yeah, she's definitely going to be. She's going to get darker. Yeah, you can, can see. see around her, like, her, her nails. Her yep. Nails. Look at her ear. Yep. You see it? Oh, her ear is dark. Kyrie I, I think DJ. I think she might be like DJ because DJ he was dark when he was little. She's gonna have brown eyes for sure. That's okay. How y'all feel about that? How I feel about that? About her eyes being brown. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. She'll be a brown eyed girl. That's David okay. thinks she'll be either DJ's color a little bit darker. No, she's gonna be darker than DJ. If you look at her look. nail bits and her ears, she's dark. Yeah, her and ears. Her Look at her. Her eyes she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh. Did you have an issue with your kids having coarse yep, hair? Yeah, I didn't want them to have coarse hair. I didn't want to have to deal with uh, that grease, thick grease, and having to hear them scream or having to deal with getting <laughs> hey, clippers. Hold up. When you <laughs> yeah. say hear them scream. You talk about the cone going through the yeah, hair. Yeah, man. Up? Yeah, man. I'm talking some rough stuff. Yes. So that was the reason. So have you ever basically been... Don't get me wrong. Boy? It's me and my own preference. Now, mind you, I have two other sisters and I have a brother and they all have their children and stuff and married black women and, and men. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> not me. Never. Not n no, Nothing darker than no, you. No. Nothing darker than In me. In your life. Ever. In your 30 plus years in your life. I'm 42. Oh, wow. And how many children did you have? I have five. You have five kids and not one of them a dark or brown skin. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I have six. One is in is resting right now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Wow. Um, would people call you a hypocrite or would they just call you honest? Like what do you feel? Because this is Honestly, something that's been I on think your they'll mind. call me like I'm some type of racist. Like, can you be self racist? Like self hate? I think they would say it would be like self hate, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. Because I love who I am. I love my mom. I love my dad. I have hella black friends, hella white friends, hella Asian friends. Right. I just, my preference was to have children with. Would you say white man? White. Okay. Italian. Okay. My preferences were Italian, white, blue eyed, blonde hair. Uh, I don't know, Puerto Ricans. I love the Latino. Have you ever been attracted to black men? No. Wow. Never. Mm -mm. And even though your daddy was black, and you, I mean, what do you consider yourself? <laughs> Biracial, but my father brought me up as to, you know, I am what my father is. Are you happy to be what your father is, what your father's black? Yes. Okay. I'm very happy to be black. Oh, yeah, and also, uh, did you check out <laughs> Shawnee was wearing glasses on the live stream, too? <laughs> As if to appear, you know, smarter and more sophisticated and more distinguished. <laughs> uh, can you imagine somebody doing something like that? <laughs> just, 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 you know, so comical, right? <laughs> And in the live stream that Shaq and Shawnee did, both of them said that they didn't even know what a colorist is. Or was. Right. They didn't know what a colorist is. They don't know what a colorist is. Right. And, okay, now I'm like, well, Google ain't broke. Niggas. Y'all Google every goddamn thing else, fuck niggas. Google this shit. So, like, apparently, they didn't want to um, Google anything, right? But... Since I'm here, let's give a definition of what a colorist is, all right? And here we go. A colorist is an individual who discriminates based on skin tone. Unlike a racist, a colorist doesn't factor race. 
but uses the tone of one's skin to determine characteristics about an, individ an individual. All right. So, and as well, we might even be able to add gender into that as well, considering how some of these light-skinned women act. Uh, but then again, as I said previously, these light-skinned mixed biracial women, a lot, a lot of times when they're colorists, they tend to harbor colorism sentiments towards both dark-skinned women and dark-skinned men. It's just that they can get something out of dark-skinned men. So they're not going to be as quick to, you know, come at dark-skinned men like that. Right? Because I, as I said, those are, that's their only option. That's all they got. Ain't no other group of men trying to check for their ass. All right. <clears throat> no. Brown skin and dark skin or black men are only are the only group of men stupid enough to placate into all this fuck shit, right? And they use they have these some of these light skinned women who do have this colorism complex or whatever you want to call it, who are colorists, they have a superiority complex as well. And dark skinned and brown skinned black men and the women too are the only group of people that can really express their colorism complex on you know so to speak they can't do it with any other group of people so since they they want to you know have a sense and a feeling of superiority and this is the only group of people they can really do it with Ain't no other group of people on the planet going for that shit except for dark skin and brown skin black people. Both the men and the women, but especially the men. And that's just what the fuck it is. Alright. So let's talk about Shaq for a moment. Alright. Shaq is a rich, overgrown, pick me ass nigga. Alright. A pick a nigga. As I call them. No. And for me, a pick a nigga is basically like a dude pick me, a male pick me, right? You know how uh, we tend to apply the term pick me towards, you know, black women who act a certain way, right? Who are seemingly very desperate and very thirsty, you know, to get a black man, right? And, you know, you know what a pick me is, goddammit. So this is pretty much the male equivalent of a pick me, right? And these niggas, like Shaq, are just happy that the prize light skin trophy chose him, right? And it gives men like Shaq a sense of validation and it helps them assimilate and it helps with self-esteem as well, right? And it helps them assimilate and offset their no good nigga stigma that's attached to them in, in society, right? Now, so let me ask you a question. Sure. You prefer a light-skinned woman. As a dark-skinned man in New York City, you prefer a light-skinned woman? A light-skinned black woman at that? Light-skinned Latina? Yeah. She can be Latino, Puerto Rican. She look good to me. She's light-skinned. That's all. Wow. So, uh, with that being said, would you date a dark-skinned woman? I'll date a dark-skinned woman. Don't get me wrong now, but light-skinned woman, I love it. It makes me, it builds up my confidence more. So you don't feel that dark-skinned women get the same attention as a light-skinned nah, black woman? Nah, nah. It's the way how they treat you, man, and how they put you in that attitude. You don't need that. A black woman, like I said, she will fucking fuck your head up. She'll piss you off. Light-skinned woman, she'll talk about it, try to come, but you, you know, you're looking at her like, you know what? I'm going to rock with her and shit. She make me feel like I'm somebody. I'm gonna make her feel like somebody. Now, do, do you feel that a dark skinned woman have that insecurity of cause how you feel and a lot of black men feel that same way? They have do? a whole lot of insecurity about they self and shit. Uh, light skinned woman, it's all good. They love love. They gonna get that. But black woman, you know, sometimes your attitude's gotta go down. So you're saying, but women- cause, cause a black brother's not gonna be feeling that at all. And that, that, that's not cool. Yeah, so hold on here. What's, what's going on? We uh, see that you hide in here. I hope you have some information because they're telling me that you got, uh, you're the black woman that don't like dark-skinned people. 
Mm -hmm. Not people, black, dark skinned men. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not attracted. But how can they, how could you not be attracted to something you never had? How could you say something is not good and you never had it? This is the reason why you always seeing light skinned girls with big black, dark skinned dudes. That's because that's their preference. I don't want to. I don't want to be with that. I don't want to be that in that category. I don't want to be that light skinned girl with a big bag, dude. Gentle giant, as they want to call it. Nah, I'm good. Damn. I'm good. So this summertime, you're on the beach and you see a a muscle, dark skinned brother, and you see a muscle white dude. Who's gonna catch your attention? The muscle white dude. Damn. Yeah. You are definitely a sister that just don't like your people. That's you why I, told, I knew you were gonna try to say it was like self hate. I love my people. I just don't like don't dark skinned men. I don't believe in self hate. I like a light skinned man. He could be black. He could be black. Your complexion's good. My complexion is more brown. There you go. But you don't like nothing that looks like your camera. God damn. That's the thing, dude. So I'm sure Shawnee O'Neal, Shawnee, chose him. Shaq with the quickness because homie rich she was just attracted to the greenery of it all <laughs> she had fly cars big houses nice trips she <laughs> got a little fame in it too she got her her own little thing popping off with basketball wise from this shit so <laughs> you know i'm pretty sure she uh you know endure some you know looking at this fuck nigga <clears throat> If she can get all that in exchange for it, right? And you know, light skinned women, they know how to get the most out of their light skin. You know. And also another thing when it comes to Shaq. Isn't Shaq partnering with Papa John's Pizza? Even after the whole racist owner situation that popped off? And it's not like Shaq is in desperate need of money. Like, Shaq already gets to the money. Like, Shaq, you know, he got a lot going on. And I ain't trying to count his pockets or anything like that. But I'm just saying, it's not like, oh, he just really needs some money or else he's going to be out on the streets. It ain't, like, it ain't like that, right? Therefore, if he doesn't care about racism, right, you know, why would he care about colorism? Think about that. Considering that he's more likely to be negative, negatively affected by racism and men like him. But he doesn't even care about that. So why would he care about colorism, which he's less likely to be negatively affected by? At least to the point that it would cause him some type of an issue. Right? And again, uh, Shaq did uh, speak out against the whole Colin Kaepernick protest when that first started off, too. And there's plenty of receipts out there about that as well. Just saying. All right. So just in case you were like, well, maybe. Hmm, well, maybe. No, nah, cut it. Y'all need to cut it. All right. <clears throat> So another thing that has come up um, is like another question that has popped up rather is like, why don't light skin mixed biracial women file colorism complaints against brown skin and dark skin black men? Hmm. You know, after all, many of these dark skin niggas drag them through the mud, run through them, leave them bitter, angry baby mamas, and so much more. So it's like, you know, some folks are thinking like, well, if colorism is so bad, light skin mixed biracial women, like, why ain't you complaining? Why why does the complaints only center around uh, dark skinned black women? That's something to think about, too. And here's the thing. Here's the thing with that. The thing is, they do have colorism complaints against brown skin and dark skin black men. Just as brown skin and dark skin black men low key have colorism complaints against light skin mixed and biracial women. Again, they they just know not to express their colorism complaints because if they do, then they're going to have to answer for a lot more things, and that's just not something that they're willing to do. So those two groups of people are just 
quote unquote staying on code. Okay? Also, you never bite the hand that feeds you. You know, light skin mixed biracial women are being fed by brown skin, dark skin men, and vice versa. Right? And the light-skinned mixed biracial women, they know that their stock is worth the most in the black community. After all, who else gives a fuck about them? Please let me know what other group of people give a flying fuck about them. None. And also, um, when it comes to these brown-skinned, dark-skinned black men, like dumpster divers, bottom feeders... Um, trash men, right? When it comes to the dating, you know, dating and whatnot, it's like, you know, they will run behind the nearest Taco Bell, the nearest Chinese restaurant, the nearest Olive Garden, the nearest um, freaking um, Indian cuisine restaurant, whatever. They will run behind the dumpster and jump in it and go dumpster diving for dates quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know, low to no standards, you know, because of that pick meism shit that goes on, right? That pick meism, really, pick meism is just throughout the whole damn community, really. Um, I think it affects darker skinned black people more, um, both the men and the women. Um, and also, just on like the suggestive, suggestive tip or whatever. Like, again, who the hell? Tell me what group of women can't get these niggas. So I don't know why you're acting like you got such a goddamn prize. Low key. I mean, you're probably rich, so it might be a prize for that. But, again, tell me what group of women on this planet can't get, like, these brown-skinned, dark-skinned niggas the holla. Please tell me. Hell, shit. Hell, even with Malik Yoba, he hollering at the transgender, light-skinned, underage women. God damn it. Or underage girls. I, I don't know. Underage transgendered girls. So like I said, tell me what group of women can't get these niggas. Alright? Acting like you got a goddamn prize. And I think low-key they kinda the light skin mixed biracial women low-key kinda know that they won't they just won't admit it. But yeah. Also, if they file a colorism complaint light-skinned women, brown-skinned and dark-skinned black men may revoke their black cards, you know, their black passes, right? And they don't want that to happen because they want to be able to practice and express their superiority complex on somebody, and this is just the easiest group of folks to do it with. As well, they want to feel superior to somebody. Again, this is the easier group to, the easiest group to do it with. As well, they don't just want to come through, run game, and just, you know, get to the rich niggas and get their money, right? This, that, and the motherfucking third, all right? Just a whole bunch of just light skin fuckery, light skin female fuckery. Let's call it for what it is, all right? So. And, again, think about it, though. If these light-skinned mixed women weren't letting brown-skinned women get on, <laughs> they would be out of here by this time tomorrow. <laughs> by this time tomorrow, light-skinned women would be out on the streets. God damn it. Struggling. Looking struggleless with they goddamn struggle melody. God damn it. Please help a light skin bitch on the street. A light skin bitch gotta eat. Please. Brown skin, dark skin, black daddy. Let me come back in, please. A light skin bitch. Need some, please. <laughs> and then if the dark skinned niggas throw out the light skinned chicks, 
then you know some of them gonna be skiing like where you at like skin Keisha where you at please let a nigga know I will cross the ocean whoa get down on the flow like skin Keisha biracial Becky Red Bone Rock mm -hmm. yeah where you be? Come on through. Pick a nigga, pick a nigga, pick a nigga. Pick a nigga, pick a nigga, pick a nigga. So, we know how this all goes down, right? We know. Again, things to think about. As well, like, again, that's why they're here. So, again, for the light skinned women, you know, why, again, why did you, why do you think that they let you stay here? Because you're just such an awesome person. <laughs> Hell yeah, no, I ain't thinking about that shit. <laughs> right. Um, but to be fair, a few, a few light skin mixed biracial women do file colorism complaints against brown skin and dark skin black men and never deal with them or either never deal with them again. That is a thing. That does happen. Um, sometimes, right? So are you telling me straight up right now that you do not like black men? Yes, I'm telling you straight up right now. I do not like chocolate, dark-skinned men. Oh. Wow. That's um, my preference, though. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be, there's gonna be so many ladies that see this interview. There's gonna be so many men that see this interview and they're gonna call me a hypocrite, they're gonna call me racist, they're gonna call me this, like, but they really don't know because they don't understand unless they actually feel the way I feel. I know I'm not the only one, you know? Well, when you see all this sexiness, you are, <clears throat> obviously you would be considered a light-skinned woman, you would be considered a woman of color, you know? At what point do you find yourself where or you're not proud of your black heritage? When I'm around a crowd of black women. Damn. When I'm in a crowd of all black women, I am not proud. They don't know how to act. I need, I like to be around classy people, people that are relaxed and not all loud and obnoxious and, you know, who's sleeping with who man and I just, I don't have time for that. Even though it's, that's among a lot of races and a lot of, you know, different ethnic groups and colors. Right. It's something about the black women. When you all together, it's like, it's somebody's always gonna fight. They can't be quiet, fun drunks. They're just, it's just me. So you're basically saying that black women are negative when they're in a crowd of black women? Yeah. So y'all don't get along? No. They'll look at me and, and, and automatically judge me like I'm Puerto Rican or I'm a Latina descent because of my hair and what I look like. You know, when I was in, in grammar school and in elementary school, I used to get jumped all the time. I went to Abington Avenue School in North, in North Newark, and I used to get jumped all the time by black women, black girls. And it would be the Latinas, you know, my Boricua family and friends that I grew up with that backed me in. You know, they were always there for me. They were always there for me. So they was always there so do you feel the same love when you're around latina women do you feel that they embrace uh, you better very much so even dominican women like i feel like they i'm just pulled in i feel like this is where i'm supposed to be or these are my this is family these are friends these are people who i want to chill with and be around because and i guess it all depends on to how the black women were raised or the environment they are in, or I don't know. I, I I don't know. It could be that, but me personally, nah, I can't. I can't. And you know, it's just a lot to think about. You know, a lot to take in, a lot to analyze, just a lot. And you know, it's you know, this type of behavior is pretty shameful. And as well, um, a bit off topic, but still on topic though. Um, light skin, 
colorist light-skinned mothers versus colorist dark-skinned mothers. Who do you think gets called out way more for being a colorist mother? The light-skinned colorist mothers or the dark-skinned colorist mothers? Probably the dark-skinned colorist mothers, right? Because ultimately, it's in line with the agenda. While calling out the light-skinned colorist mothers would not be in, in line with the agenda, then it would be like, if you do, if the brown-skinned, dark-skinned men who do that, do this calling out shit, do that to light skin mixed biracial women, then it's like, okay, well, why are you dealing with them? Why are you having children by them? Then they'll have to answer to that, and they don't have an answer for that because, again, they are operating on just some pick me shit, right? You know, they have re really low self esteem and they're just wanting to be picked and wanting some validation and wanting some assimilation and, you know, some type of a confidence boost. So this is why that happens, you know. And this isn't me, you know, being um, negative or being um, evil or a mean person or anything like that. It's just, just me telling the truth and explaining the pathology that's all behind this, you know. Uh, because the thing is, like, when it comes to racism and also colorism, but especially racism, though, right, like... The material effects of racism and the system of white supremacy on black people is very much clear in terms of the economic, social, political, and cultural inequalities, right? However, oftentimes what's less understood and less examined and less analyzed is the psychological and spiritual effects of internalized racism from a society that deems black people's existence to be lesser than, to be unimportant, to be irrelevant, to not be recognized, right? That's something to think about as well. So a lot of this is at play here, and all of this is going down. Um, and I think when it comes to colorism, like these brown-skinned, dark-skinned men, they are pretty much going after the easiest target, which is the brown-skinned, dark-skinned black women. That's just the easiest target for them to sort of express their own you know, self-loathing, self-worth issues and self-esteem issues onto, you know, brown skin and dark skin black women, right? Because, um, again, um, you don't really see, um, like, light skin or mixed black men coming out and saying, like, oh, you know, I wish, oh, that was, like, you know, I don't need no bitch as yellow as me. <laughs> you know, I don't need no bitch as beige as me. I'm already beige. <laughs> you don't really hear that. You know. Uh, or, like, oh, um, you know, light skinned bitches can take a punch. <laughs> you don't really hear that type of shit, right? And, you know, speaking of that, um, when it comes to these um, brown skin and dark skin dudes pursuing light skin mixed and biracial women, I also think that you know they are colorists, but also they're um, they're doing it from a colorism standpoint of this pursuit, right? But also when they get with them, I think that they often view lighter skinned black women as being kind of like weak, say weaker than say a brown skin and dark skin black woman and black women, right? Because, you know, the brown-skinned, dark-skinned black women, they're going to pop off on your ass when you're trying to run game on them. <laughs> but the light-skinned women and the mixed women, you know, they'll just take it. You know, they they ain't going to pop off on you. Um, they'll just take it. You can just walk all, all over them like a doormat. And they ain't going to say nothing, you know. <clears throat> and I think that's really low-key what's at play. That's, I think, part of the reason why they do try to pursue them because they think that they're weak and sometimes that's the case and sometimes it's not and that they can run easier game on them sometimes that's the case and sometimes that's not right <clears throat> no 
and low key kind of like <laughs> um, I think some light skinned mixed biracial women kind of think they can low key run easier game on the brown skin, dark skin, black men. Sometimes that's the case, and sometimes it's not. So it's like, God damn, y'all. I'm going to need uh, like some laws put in place to prevent like dark skin and brown skin men and light skin mixed biracial women from having relationships and especially procreating. I'm going to need them to get, if they're in relationships or marriage or whatever, I'm going to need them to get like hysterectomies, tubal ligations, vasectomies, castrations. I'm going to need some type of sterilization here. We can't have no children coming from these fucked up weak ass unions for a lack of a better word unions um, from these people we can't afford that especially at this point <clears throat> you aren't fit to have children or to raise and have have and raise children you're not fit for that all right <clears throat> you're lucky I don't call for a damn on-site death sentence for your asses either shit like if you see a light-skinned Dark skin couple, light skin woman, dark skin dude, on site death sentence right then and there. Pow pow, god damn it. Shit. <clears throat> they were a threat to society, a threat to the black gene pool. God damn it. Yeah. Hell. When the freaking white supremacists come through, when the Illuminati come through, offer these fuck niggas as a sacrifice. Push them over to them. Let the Illuminati take their asses. Let the white supremacists take their asses. All right. Offer them as sacrifice. God damn it. God damn. God damn. Let's do a purge night. A purge night on this damn black community and all these fuck niggas and fuck bitches that are in here and all these colorist folks and the rest of these damn sexual predators and all that shit. Let's just purge their asses to white supremacy and offer them as a sacrifice. Don't fuck with us. Here's some uh, black folks that you can um, practice target. You can have pra target practice on. Take them. Shoot their asses. Leave us alone. There's no rehabilitation. These niggas and bitches don't want to be saved, don't want to be accountable for anything. So just push them on over to the Illuminati or the goddamn white supremacists, whoever is trying to get the damn sacrifice for these niggas right now. <clears throat> Again, y'all need some target practice. Here you go. Y'all need some new slaves, you know, some new people to oppress. Here you go. Y'all need some um, fuck niggas to push around and to practice police interrogation on. Here you go. Y'all need some fuck niggas to torture. Here you go. All right. Y'all just want to be evil, wild ass cave beasts on the loose, demonic ass motherfuckers. Here you go. All right. Leave, the, leave us the fuck alone. And here you go with these fuck niggas and fuck bitches over here. And the other thing is, finance is kept a lot of these um, black women and really women in general low key have this like beauty and the beast fantasy type thing going on when it comes to sex and stuff like that. So I think that's sort of low key at play too, where they may be viewing this dude as kind of like low key a beast. And plus, society kind of views these type of dudes as like low key beasts. And that's how they're treated as well. Hence the police brutality, right? Um, and the lack of justice that go goes along with it. To this point now, it's almost like if you shoot a damn black man, you know, it's more like just like, oh, you just got to pay a fine. You know, like 75 bucks, you know, like you just ran over a dog or something or a cat hey, or something like that. Right. But knowing how some of these damn pick me mule mammy ass black women in the community be acting if you did try to offer these niggas particularly these niggas as a, as a sacrifice you know they'll be jumping right in front of them take me instead please leave my black king alone please don't touch my black king please leave my black king alone get my black king up out of here and then the black king behind them pushing them forward like yeah take her ass instead <laughs> <laughs> Oof. But you know, black women, you know, the pick me mammy mule types, they love the abuse. They love the struggle. God damn, they love struggle love. Ooh, struggle.
struggle. I love to struggle. Struggle, 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 struggle. With my black king. That's what it's all about when you're with a black king. If it ain't a struggle, it ain't a fuggle. Mm -hmm. And if you're a black woman and you ain't down for the struggle, mm -hmm. you ain't a friend of mine. No, no, no. A black king is the only thing I need. Oh, I embrace the struggle. Mm -hmm. And then these black kings want to be um, the only chocolate goddesses in the black community, too. You feel me? <clears throat> yeah. Y'all know, if y'all ain't um, picked up by now, at this point, I'm just, um, you know, saying some just random shit that's popping in my mind before I get off of here. You know, <clears throat> random shit that's, you know, irrelevant and valid. You know, don't get it twisted. All right. <clears throat> But yeah, these niggas want to be the, the chocolate goddesses of the black community. They want to be the only, only chocolate goddesses in the black community. And it's just, eh, you know, this is, since they can't really do manly shit for real and, you know, be judged on real man shit, right? Then it's like, okay, they just clinging on to the only thing they got at this point, right? <clears throat> but it's like, nigga, just give the chocolate beauty chocolate goddess lane to the dark skin brown skin black women you deal with the nigga shit lane that you need to be in the man shit lane that you're supposed to be in right <clears throat> and as well to the dark skin brown skin dudes like stop dealing with the light skin chicks go and show the brown skin dark skin chicks some love you know, uplift them, put them on the pedestal. And to the light skin mixed biracial women, stop dealing with the brown skin, dark skin, black men. All right. Just stop it. All right. Let the brown skin, dark skin woman, women have a man. All right. Let them get some counseling. Let them get some healing. You know, come together. All right. What you need to do is either. Date interracially or reconnect with the light skinned mixed biracial men. All right, the light skinned mixed biracial men will take your ass back. All right, they won't hold shit against you for the most part because they know that you're just a weak ass bitch. All right, <clears throat> so yeah, you know, they just gonna be men about it and just say, you know, come on through, come on through, that um, beige daddy help you out. Now, don't get it twisted. They ain't going to be played. Nah. But if you come through on some, you know, sincere apology, apology shit, I'm sure they'll take your ass back. All right. And I'm sure they'll deal with you. As long as you ain't too ran through and ain't got a whole bunch of kids running around. I'm sure they'll deal with you. Yeah. You know, and also when these light skin mixed biracial women be having kids with these dark skinned brown skinned men, they be praying that these kids <laughs> don't come out looking like too much like these brown skinned dark skinned niggas they fucking with. They be praying about that shit. <laughs> and please, I pray, I pray, I pray, please don't come out looking like this fuck nigga right here. Please, 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 don't, 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 please, I say this prayer. Please, I beg you, I beg you, please, I don't want to see this fuck nigga reflected in my children, mm -hmm. no, 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 please, 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 I say this prayer, yes I do, I ask and I beg please. Please see my child through. I know, sister. I know. <clears throat> That's what happened when you ain't got options. All right. So I think I can bring this video to a close at this point. But before I close, uh, I just want to end on this note. 
Um, there's no honor among colorists. Okay? They will eventually turn on each other. All right? So, long story short, there is just that ultimately they all end up doing each other in one way or another. All right? So, you know, you know, ultimately the Lord, you know, the universe and whatnot will have its way. You know, the, the laws of um, the universe and the Lord and will have its way and these people will be ultimately dealt with one way or another. You know, and as well, um, you know, no shade, no hate toward, you know, uh, darker skinned black men, lighter skinned black women, you know, um, no hate towards any black person in general. You know, it's just me, um, you know, just you know, speaking on the pathology and just explaining some things behind it and just um, analyzing and having conversation and debates about um, colorism and whatnot. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.